everyone, I'm Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, and this is 2K Daily, the show that will bring you all the news from the previous day in 2K. Today we're talking about Lu- <laughs> <coughs> Go to commercial, go to commercial. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. Look, this is a show I'm trying to bring you guys every day, every other day, however often I can, just because, just however often time permits, how much you guys support it. Is this going to be a, a daily recap of what happened the day before? We got, we got L Watch, we got the bug, the community buzz, we have things that are changing in the game, we got all this stuff, man. Just think of it as a, um, as a, uh, you know, like a sports center for, for 2K and the day before or whatever. But, like I said, I'm not going to be able to really do it every every single day. So, we might have to come up with a better name than 2K Daily. Maybe I can do it every day. If you guys support it, we're going to do it every day. But if not, you know, uh, I, I just got to do it as often as I can. But, hey, we're going to do it for this first month. See how it goes. And if it rocks, it rocks. If it doesn't, then, you know, we're just going to let it rock. But, uh, hey, let's get right into what we got to get into. First off, the thing that everybody wants to know about. There was no day one patch. Now, we know that Poe Boy Sin was talking to Mike on Twitter, and Mike was, and Poe Boy Sin was talking about the fact that he wanted to put the step back on the escape dribble back on the right stick. Right now, as it stands, it's on the left stick. You have to hold turbo and tap down on the left stick. It's really convoluted, really confusing. It doesn't feel natural, and I can definitely see why he wants to move this back to where it was. And Mike said there would be a day one patch that would move this, and that's how we would know that there was a day one patch. This has not been moved, this functionality is still on the left stick, so we know that there's been no day one patch. Everything is the same. A lot of people are saying that the gameplay is really slow, and that's what I'm seeing. Uh, they want to, you know, try to ratchet it up a couple of ticks. A lot of people just don't like the fact that the movement is not what it was. But what you got to realize is this is a new 2K game. Every single year we have to get used to different movements, different speeds, different everything. 2K18 was the same way. It was completely different than 17. 18 was completely different than 19, and so a lot of people didn't like it, didn't gravitate toward 19, but before the end of the game, 19 was one of the most popular games ever. It wasn't the best ever, I thought it was one of the worst, but hey, it was one of the most popular ever, uh, to the fact that people were still watching the game all the way up to last week, and now uh, with anticipation for 2K20. So we gotta just give it time, see what happens. Maybe there'll be a day two patch, maybe there'll be a week one patch or something like that. But once that functionality is moved, we will know that we've got the patch. Also, there was no buff to small forwards uh, as of yet. Everything seems to be the same. It seems like they want you to play with shorter players this year. We got no new pie charts. Uh, that's all the same. So a lot of the things that they were saying, hey, this might be in the game, that may be in the game, this, that, the other, it, it's just not come to fruition. And I couldn't imagine that after people have made their players and played some of the game, that they will come back with new pie charts or new anything or even buff, uh, buff small force or anything like that. I couldn't imagine that they would do that. I feel like what they're going to do is just leave it like it is and uh and and that's gonna be that's gonna be it the things that we do know are in the game right now we know that uh shot contests have definitely been dramatically dumbed down last year you had people people would be in the paint or be on the left block you be in the right corner and they would jump at you and they get a shot contest this is completely out of the game not only do you not get like a, a super lunge when you jump at people late if, it seems like we're back to the 2K18 version of the game where when you start pulling up, if the person is not there at the time you start pulling up, if they don't block the shot, it's going to be a very low contest. It looks like I haven't seen one above 30% when the person jumps uh, very, very late. I like that. I think that creates a good skill gap because you shouldn't be able to just rely on sprinting around the court and pressing triangle in order to in order to, to play defense you should have to stay in front of your man and play real defense play very good concise defense now we don't know what this is what the outcome is going to be on this we don't know when everybody gets intimidated and stuff like that how that's going to go but we just know for right now the super long gone contests are completely gone so the guys used to do that to me last year I'd be wide open, get open, run off, run around, get off ball, get wide open and all that. And all you did was just jump at me two or three people. 
That's over with. You gonna have to find. You gonna have to try to find another way to beat me. And besides, if, if 2K19 was the first 2K you were good at or decent in because you played lockdown or you played a stretch or something like that, oh boy, you gonna have a hard time. I mean, anyway, let's just get back. Let's just get get back into the news. With all that being the case, quick draw is an absolute must. A lot of people are saying that they can't play the game without quick draw. Like if you didn't know. In the shot creation tool, there is not going to be a a way to to, uh, to ratchet up your speed. You're starting off with the slower speed on every jump shot, and quick draw is the way that you're going to you know do level one, two, three, or four. I got a secret shot for you. If you put quick draw number one on Paul George, that's gonna help you out a very uh, you know on a Paul George based on Paul George shot. That's gonna help you out a lot because I had. Paul George and I put quick draw uh, on bronze on it and it was fine for me. I'm not saying it's going to be fine for you. LaMarcus Aldridge, like they said, 2K Lab did a very good video on it, so you, you might want to go check that out. They said that you can put LaMarcus Aldridge on the fastest quick draw and it's still comparable. Like Carmelo Anthony is still faster than that jump shot with like quick draw on silver or something like that. So just keep that in mind. A lot of people are saying that, they, that you must have quick draw in order to play the game. I've just put quick draw on bronze and I've been fine with mine. Speaking of which, I will be streaming later today, but I'm just probably going to be doing my career and just going through the game like that because you have to get all your badges and the fastest way to get the badges is going to be in my career. I'm going to find the fastest way to get the badges. You can look back all the way to 2K17. I've always found the fastest way and the most efficient way to get the badges. So make sure you sub to the channel and uh, like the videos and all that and just keep me motivated this year to do that. We got to get to 100 grand this year, man. If we don't, Hey, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to start doing uh, other types of videos. But anyway, the rec floor has changed. There's no longer the Jordan Rex Center. A lot of the branding has, has seemed to be gone also throughout the entire game. So, you know, we don't have footlock anymore. It's just 2K shoes. And uh, the rec floor has changed. It's, it's just the rec now. Now, you do have more lag. I mean, we do have more people on the sidelines and stuff like that so it's like people are actually watching the game you got a little crowd there they got the bleachers on the left side the right side and stuff like that that seems to be pretty cool but uh you know other than that it's just still the wreck and that's where you're probably gonna find me most of the time anyway uh also it looks like we're back to the 2k17 version of shooting and when i'm saying that like i already touched on it before where you can't just jump at somebody all late and get a contest that's gone out of the game. You know, in 2K17, once you got your dead eyes, maybe you got in Hall of Fame dead eyes, something like that, if a person wasn't standing on top of your feet when you took the shot, you had a very good chance to hit it. I like that aspect of the game, but at the same time, we're at the 2K17 point in the game where a 70 shooting is good enough. Now, that's been good enough for the last couple of years. It wasn't quite good enough in 18 to 70 shot. We made it work, but in 19, 70 was good enough. And if you got a 70 overall, three or something like that, or if you got a 67 and you have somebody on your team that has floor general on goal, then they'll bring it up to a 70. You should be able to hit shots. We've seen Worth and Coke hit shots with his with his guy. I've seen Poe Boy Sin hit shots consistently, and he only has a 74 three-pointer, and he only has a, like a 75, 74 uh, mid-range. So I'm a 79 mid-range. So that's been good for him. So if 70 some odd is good enough and you feel like you'll be able to put a shot boost on with a dimer and your badges, that's going to be good enough to get you across. All right, so now let's go to rep rewards. We're just going to touch on this real quick. We found out that rep rewards and max rep, you get extra badges. It's just like it was last year. You probably just get to turn, you probably get one extra badge point, you know, for everything. And then you get to turn everything to Hall of Fame. Or you just get to, you know, rearrange things and put them back. We know you can rearrange the badges any way that you can. So they're probably just going to give you like 60 extra badge points, 30 extra badge points. And you can just up each badge once. So, so that's going to be cool. There was talk about rep being reset. You haven't seen anybody's rep get reset. They may reset the my team, though, because a lot of people were pulling Galaxy Opals. And uh, like like my boy Ramp said, that's just not supposed to be the case. You can't pull Galaxy Opals like everybody was glitched, and they were just pulling mad Galaxy Opals the first day. So if you didn't take advantage of that glitch, I, I don't know what to tell you. But I can tell you this. They're probably going to reset my team progress. We have no idea, but you know it is what it is. Brother Jones! did talk to us about one thing yesterday. He actually went through and tested out the respect system. And uh, you know, this is something that I, I, I put in a video like two years ago in 2K18, in 2K17, I was like, this is my 2K18 wish list. This is proof that they are sitting here copying my ideas and rocking with your boy. They watch my channel, but they don't want to put me on because they don't want to put me on the payroll. But they take all my ideas, but it's all good. But anyway, I put this video up 
in uh, 2K17 saying that we should be able to respect our player. And Brother Jones actually went through and tested it out. So this is what we have. Ronnie was incorrect when he said that you could use respecting a player as a means to save VC. You cannot do that. What happens when you respect a player right now, when you respect the player, it sets the player back to zero. But if you had him all the way up to a 95, you can put him back up to a 95. The caveat is you must have the VC. My idea was let us pay a hundred grand and then we could respect the player. Like you, you pay to respect the player and then all the attributes and stuff will be free. The way that it stands now is not like that. You will have all your badge points. You will have all the attribute caps to, to, to add to the player, but you have to have the VC to put into the player in order to get him back to that. So let's say, like I said, if I get, if I get a guy to 95 and say he would have been better served, um, he would have been better served, you know, putting something like 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 a, a different pie chart, a different speed, or if I should have just put put his attribute potential a little bit differently, I can do that, and I can set him all the way back to whatever. I can even make him a center. I can make him a guard. I can make him whatever he wants to be, and then I can actually fill everything out. But I have to have the VC in order to do it, so those attribute caps won't be free, and so it's not a means to save VC. Ronnie, you fleeced us again, brother. What's going on, man? And last but not least, L Watch, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's not really L Watch, but we did have the game of the year yesterday, uh, uh, you know, so far. And it was McGurk versus G Sice. It was actually a pretty good game. G Sice came out there. I think he had a big, a big man, though. Now, he did defeat McGurk, and uh, McGurk was not happy about it. But it was all good, though. It was all in good fun and all that good stuff. And actually, McGurk did get a lot of redemption. Uh, even though a lot of people saw the G Sice game, they didn't see he beat Agent, he beat a lot of other people, and uh, you know, so he did get a lot of redemption. But you know, everybody just wanted to talk about, hey, he just lost to G Sice. It is what it is, man. It was a good nature, good hearted game. But anyway, that's the end of it right now, man. If you saw anything else that I should have added into the video, leave it down in the comments below and let me know what type of stuff I should put in these videos. Like I said, these are just a recap of the day in 2K or the day before the previous day, whatever like that, man. So let me know if you like these videos. Should I keep doing it? Should I just scrap it? Should I add more topics? Should I put more L's in here? Uh, all that good stuff. We wanna put top matchups in here and all that good stuff, man. Like, like you know, we, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna flesh it out. But anyway, first episode in the books. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. You will see me streaming. Link down in the description. I'll be streaming below. I will be making the uh, the guard that I have, but I'm probably going to be in my career for the foreseeable future because it's just like you have to grind your badges this year. There's no two ways about it. It's just like 2K17. If you don't get into my career and grind your badges, it's going to be a long and arduous trek in order to get yourself up in this game and, and be relevant. And it's like badges are really what make the player this year so they let you play the way that you want to play anyway i gotta get up out of here man hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you leave a like and subscribe if you're new and uh you know watch watch out for my video this evening because i will have a couple of videos this evening on how to how to get the badges quickly the best methods to go about it and then you know i'm, I'm gonna have the best bills man check out the best bill video that i had yesterday and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time that's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ holla